Shalom. I'm, I'm, I'm on a live program at the moment. Who is this? Hello, my dear. I know I can see you on the live. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Call me back in another five minutes. Eh? Have you seen Have you seen the topic? Okay, all right. Give me five minutes. Yeah. Thank you. Trying to give some time for for others, regular viewers to come on. I know you are all regular, and I love you all for coming on. But I want to encourage and give more time before we crack on. Siblings, siblings is the topic. Let me look at it again. Is there still a trusted sibling to confide in? Do we still have a trusted family, a sister or a brother that you can confide in and will not let you down, will not destroy your character, will not destroy anything that you have worked for? Do we still have a trusted sibling that will not jealous your prosperity, will not jealous your progress, your success? Join me live right now on 07908-628240. Tokumbo Olagbaye is my name. I am still the same person that you know. I have not changed my status. I am a lawyer and I will remain so. But in between my journey, I need to be doing things differently to make me stand out. This is what I enjoy most, advocacy. But then when it comes to public speaking, I have no problem at all. I need to be able to relate to public at large, to know that they can talk to me easily, they can relate with me, they can talk to me. That I am not just a lawyer that don't want to relate to public. No, I am not that kind of person. I'm trying to fulfill my destiny by coming up out one by one all the time and bringing topic. This is some of the things that I have studied in university when I was doing my master's degree. So I enjoy this kind, this side of law, which is moral, not legal. It's another side completely, but I enjoy it. So it's now time for me to be bringing them out one by one and explore it in the public so we can know what is going on around us. So please phone in when, when we start, but we're not, we, we, we're not starting yet. You know, sibling, is there still a trusted sibling to confine in? That's the question. The mobile number is 07908. 07908. Let me put it out here. Telephone number to call on is 07908 628240. Jack, I thought I'm going to be one. She's 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 going to be one. Is there something called? trusted sibling. There is so much happening in the, our midst, in our homes, in our family, in the community at large. So in a way, do we still have a sibling that we can trust more than a friend? Or do we, ha do we have to rely on friend and ignore sibling? What do you think? 07908-628240. Let me...
telephone number is 0790 Is there something that we still call sibling? Can we still rely on our sibling and confine in them? Are we not going to be shooting ourselves at the leg, at the back? Are we not going to let ourselves down? Join me right now, 0790 For those who want to book an appointment to see me, it's on 0208. 309-8808. That's the office number to call appoint for appointment. 0208-309-8808. Hello, thanks for calling in. You know we're on a program now. Are you happy to join yeah. us? You're, we're on a program now, yeah? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Hello, good, good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, carry on. Yeah, well, I think uh, there's uh, there's some people to still trust anyway, so uh, like a sibling. Okay. Yeah, because uh, what really happened is this, because uh, I do have a sibling that I still trust. Okay. They're, 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 they're well, well behaved human beings, you know, they advise, you know, all this kind of stuff. But, you know, at times, we have a friend that we trust as well. But, most of the most of the trust we put in our siblings, you know, most of them they let us down at times, you know. Like you have a brother that you really, really trust, you know, that you can combine in at the end of the day, so they let you down. But even though even though the person that you even know personally, even though your 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 own your own partner can lay you down, you know, anybody can lay you down. But you can't trust no one. That's it. Okay. Anyway, thank you. That's my contribution. Man. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you, Kola. That's what somebody said here. Yeah. We still have some siblings that we can still trust. That you still have you have some that you have to be careful with. It's better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Hmm. That's huge. That is huge. That is huge. We are on 0790862240. Is there still a sibling in this our time, our age, that we can confine in and we will not be let down? That we can trust, that we can put our things in care to take care of you and they will not disappoint us. Hello? Hello, good morning, ma'am. Morning, thanks for calling in this afternoon, ma'am. Yo, sorry, ma'am. Good afternoon. Sorry, I just want to pull, I just want to um, lend my voice to the topic on uh, discussion. Thank you. Morning. Please go on. Please go on. Yeah, I know there are some families. It all depends on the family. There are still some good families that um, siblings they still have trust and love for each other that they can share anything. But one thing I've discovered in this journey in life is that it all depends on when the kids are growing up. The family, the impact of parents is so, so, so important. In my home case, I'm quite unfortunate that, like, you know, I, I've lost both parents. But then, um, while they were alive, there were a lot of things that my parents could have said to between us, the siblings, that is now generating and causing, you know, a kind of um, trouble between between us as siblings that we're having rivalry, we're having jealousy, bitterness. Mm -hmm. Hmm. And you know, we have been like uh, all this kind of divide and rule hmm. among us. Hmm. And it pains my heart when, whenever, whenever I sit down and I think about it. And I have friends that, you know, they have good siblings that they can say anything. They are so free, they are so down to heart that they, they don't have any secrets. They are so open. It's like, you know, when the Bible says Adam and Eve that they were naked. Hmm. They, 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 that's the kind of relationship that they are having with their siblings. And in my heart, it pains me that. Oh, I wish this is how my home is. This is how my family is. Mm. But you know, we are not perfect. I try my best with my siblings. I have good relationship with them. But there's this kind of comma that you want to put yourself at. <laughs> Let me just be careful. I don't want to play into into any into. I don't want to play into any trap. Mm. You understand? But like now, I'm trying to do that. With, I have two children. And every day I will sit them down and I keep saying to them that you are going to need yourself in life. You are going to be the best for yourself when you grow up. I don't want your friend to be your best. I want you I want you both to be the best that nobody can be able to you know come in between you or crack you down. You understand what I'm saying to you, ma'am? Yes. So I do. I'm just saying it's not that there are still people, I have friends that 
you know, not that I, I envy them, but I, I really, really honor and I appreciate their parents mm. that they brought them up to trust and to love. And you know, one thing I've come to realize is that for, for siblings that goes behind their, their other siblings to destroy them, to expose them, there's a kind of judgment for them. Because when you have shared a womb, you have shared breast with someone, no matter how bad the situation may be, I think if you think about the connection between both of you, you want to like, let's settle this matter. Don't let it aggravate, don't let it. Like in my own family now, my eldest is the problem in our own family. Mm -hmm. The eldest is like, you know, very envious. And you know, I just look at it that why should you be God has a destiny that these fingers are not going to be equal. Hmm. There's something I used to say like in my family that if it is the last child in my family that God wants to be the Abiola, the Dango says of the family, oh Lord, let it be for hmm. him or her. If it is me, let it be. If it is the elderly, the elderly one, let it be. What matter is, even if it's only one person that is rich in a family where there is love, it will cover everyone. You will not even know. I was looking at Linda Ikeji's yesterday night. I read about her siblings, how she empowered all of them. And in my mind, I said, this is a girl. She's she's just a girl. She's not the first one. She's the second child of the parent. But all her siblings, she was able to bring them aboard. Not limiting our world to ourselves alone and you know that's the way siblings are supposed to be and it is my prayer that every parent that is listening to me we raise our kids with love with fear with loyalty with harmony so that even when we are gone wherever we are when we look back to the head we will like oh god my children are doing well my children there's one there's unity among them that is what i'm praying for my kids and i'm working towards that and i pray that the lord will help me and help each and every one of us Thank you so much. Thank you, sister. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. That sister has experience. She did not read it from the book. You see, when somebody speaks from experience, it touches my heart, and I can tell straight away that it has experience. It wasn't from the book at all. There is so much happening in our midst. So much. Hello? Hello. hello. Yeah, hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Is that is that uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Chukubo? Yes, it's me. Thank you. Oh, so uh, what's the last caller just said? She she said okay, just let me explain to you Yoruba. Hmm. Because also uh, all right to go, I won't lie to you. It depends on things, that's all right. Okay. I won't lie to you. Hmm. Because my mom, I mean, we are four in number. I could still remember when we are still young. Am I young back then? You know, Papa, 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 you didn't even know until all of that say ah. I won't you. I was in UK, but when I'm trying to do my status, it's my brother that gave me money for my papers to show how how close we are. And we went to, and we are both in the same class. We are, we both started together for two two years, you know. Hmm. Up to now, the love is still there, even though my husband, oh my head, you are up to now. If I tell a lot of American, if I'm smart about people, I like you, okay. But all the life in your country, you can't love the people on the show at work. And the critical, by the way, you can't smile on the one. I'm not frying the thing. So to me, it depends on parents. Thank you. It depends on parents. I would like to you. It's not, it's not health season. There are some that are, that are still good. And there are some that are very, very bad. Hmm. I won't say more than that. Thank you, my sister. God bless you. I'm trying to speak up, but the voice doesn't allow me more than that. The projection, when you are speaking, we have to control it so that it doesn't go too loud. Music does affect our voice when we are talking, and it's not good. So when speaking, the music must go off, and that's what I just did now. So I'm trying to bring my voice to your level so that you can hear it properly. But that was a wonderful speech, uh, um, um, what is it called? Input, I would say. That was a wonderful one. What is, what is happening in homes between siblings, it's something that you cannot believe. It happens every year and there, here and there, here and there and there.
my topic is not for just somebody else's one person's story it's an ongoing problem in within the siblings that i have seen more than 20 30 odd years i have a list of things that i have researched on and that is why i am bringing them up one by one when the situation warrants me to do so that sister that just spoken said it all and the other one said it well as well Whatever happens between siblings depend on the parents, especially the mother who runs the home. When a mother loves a child better than the other and carry it on her forehead, you are creating a problem for that child. That child will grow to have as siblings as an enemy. And it goes on to the Bible as well. Let me take you back to Bible. You will realize that the Jacob, uh, Joseph's father, Jacob, he loves Joseph dearly and show it that Joseph is a son of his loved wife. And because Rachel is no more, Jacob tends to show it in his face that Joseph is a favorite child. As a result of that, Joseph encounters problems among his siblings but for god a triumph had he not been a special child that was gifted he would have died in the midst of that hassle he would have died in the midst of it so if you look at the problem we are having it's dated back from the bible when a man have 12 sons because he has daughters as well but they were not mentioned deeply he has daughter, uh, sons, 12 sons that we were known, that were known to us, and they were the 12 tribes of Israel, Israelites. You will agree with me that the love that J Jacob showed to Joseph was something that no siblings would want to tolerate it. It was beyond acceptance for others. They saw it, their father put it in their face. Their father walked over there. Their father did so many things. Because of that, Joseph has to pay for his father's drug doing. Joseph has to pay, and he paid for his father's drug doing. But for the glory of God and the destiny that has been written there, he was able to come out of the mess. You see, the problem that I am looking at in terms of siblings to siblings, it's a huge one. It is not something that anybody can tell me that he doesn't exist. Jealous. It even takes some to the extent that they think somebody else is using their destiny. And you are expecting people, somebody that has already have something in place for our life, you are expecting them to use your dirty destiny that you keep in the room that is not in public, that is not useful. The problem of sibling is not just yesterday problem. I stand corrected. The English proverb says that unless the Lord build the house, what happens to the builder? He builds in vain. He builds in vain. Unless God empower you, if you don't have a clean heart, you can't go far in life. The heart has to be pure, like white clothes. It has to be clean. Even if you have money and your heart is dirty, you cannot drive it far. There are problems in the homes. The callers have spoken rightfully. It comes from parents. You see, majority of times we tend to ignore the father's one when you have mother alive. It's the mom's problem, majority of the problem. It causes by the, by the mother. 
So if your heart is dirty and stained, you will not go far. Mba. There is no way you can fly, you will jump down. The problem Joseph had was as a result of his father putting him at the forefront from number 11 and placed him to number 1, ahead of Reuben, ahead of Simeon, ahead of everybody, Judah. And these are ruthless boys. They are ruthless. If you read your Bible very well, you will see that Judah, Simeon, they are ruthless. Andrew, they are very ruthless. They don't care. Reuben, they can do and undo. And if you are wine and dine with your enemy that is within the house, your glory will be short cut. Because there is a Yoruba proverb that says, Tikule o bakpani to di ole It is better to know which of them is poisonous and run miles than to pretend and to start taking it on and sit accepting that it's my sibling, it's my sibling. It will be easy for him or her to poison you. We are on 07908 628240. That's it, Obale Gassi. That is what the Yoruba proverb says. I will not interpret it in English because that's my dialect. But let me tell you when Iyekala Bao is becoming dangerous. You gotta find a way to detach yourself as soon as possible. If not, you might die in the process. And they will still live and laugh. Yes, household enemies, you're right. And these are the very dangerous ones. When you have household enemies within, believe me, it can hurt you, it can kill you, it can destroy you, it can affect your children that you are bringing up. So we rather, even if you have a trusted, confident person outside, you would rather want to confide in that person than confiding in the one in the house. And when you look at it, they will say, one low, go and one. One low, go and one. What do you mean by low, go eh? You idiot that out there, that you don't know how to present situation. If you are lacking and you need help, whether the person is younger or older, all you need to do is to befriend that person, get close to the person, and seek assistance. Look for a way forward. Tell the person to give you a net to catch fish in the sea. Not to tell you how to catch it, not to give the fish to you. By this, you cannot fall. Are you hearing what I'm saying, my people? I have done a lot of research and I realize that it's becoming unbearable. You hear it from left, from right, from everywhere. Everybody is saying stuff. You now look at it and said, problem in my that Joe is becoming bigger and huge. How do I take it? How do I control it? Don't pretend as if it's not happening. He does. Unless you are not making progress. If you are not making progress, you will not have enemies. And you will not move forward. Because you are so comfortable in your stupid dirty chair you are sitting. With your ogo that you are using. In one place, in one chair, in one sitting corner. Believe me or not, you will have enemies. And who cares about enemies? The more enemies you have, the more progress you make, the more ladder you climb. Because those who know me know me very well. I think deeply. But I may not talk on situation, but I'm, I'm a thinker. Even though I am a public speaking person, I don't normally talk something that doesn't concern me. I don't speak about it. This is a topic 
that affects us in the house, outside, and everywhere. That is why I bring it out. My topic are not fictions. My topic are facts and real with evidence to corroborate. My topics are not fictions that you read in the novels, on the counter in the library. Fictions, they list it there. They're not fictions, they're facts. And I want people to learn from it every time I bring topic out. This man says these topics make me cry each time I think of it. If you have faced battle with siblings out of jealous, you will realize that you have a bigger destiny. But if you don't face battle with death, uh, with sibling, you don't have anything called ugu. You don't have anything called destiny. But I want her to go through problem, turbulence, that you have faced the turbulence in the midst of that. You are still able to speak and come out, and you have seen a lot in the homes, in your family, among your siblings that they have moved you like Joseph. They have pushed you around. They move you left, right, back, and forth. Yet you still stand. It means God is with you. It means your heart is clean. It means you are a special person. <laughs> we are on 07908-628240. Please join me and speak your mind. Don't hide your feelings. People want to learn. Don't let me be the only speaker. I love people to speak out. I love people to join me on this program. I love people to com to converse with me. I want them to share what they have experienced. Does the problem come from our mother? Where did they got it wrong? What have they done that they do that they shouldn't have done? What happened? Come and ask me live. Mm. Then call us on 07908, Bumi. If you have something to tell us, 07908 628240. Share it with the public. Don't hide your feelings. Don't hurt yourself. Don't die inside yourself. When you share, problem share is pro, have pro, uh, problem solved. When you share your problem, it means you're halfway done. When share problem, halfway done. But let me take you the way I've said earlier before. The problem comes from parents, the way those sisters that I've called have mentioned. It comes from parents. They've got it wrong by having a preference child. Have they not all your children that comes from your womb? Leave that one aside. When someone is lazy and or they make mistake in their journey, in their life, they tend to bring that problem as a jealous onto their sibling and it's the one that is making progress, the one that is striving for herself or himself and trying to make two hands meet. They bring their own problem onto that person unnecessarily. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my sister. Thank you for calling in. Yes, sir. I just want to contribute. I love that. Thank you. Um, to be candid and truthful, the major problem comes from our parents, mm. and I will specifically say the mothers. Mm. So sometimes we have daddies doing their own thing, uh, favorite things, picking one out of the other, but it doesn't go deep like moms. Mm. Moms, when they make that mistake of showing this is my favorite, we don't say it. We are parents, we don't say it, but when we hmm. act by buying things, gifts for one, calling one, even when we don't talk out and say, I like this, I like that, the other can see exactly that you pulling one in every exactly. time, doing secret stopping. You know, we are, we, we are mothers, we know how we do it, hmm. and children are not stupid. Hmm. The way we are not stupid, they are swear are not stupid, they, they are smart, they read what language is. When we drop them in school, we kiss one, we didn't kiss the other one. Hmm. We are fond of saying, uh, when we come back from work or something, I'll call me mango, we pick one, we didn't call the other one. Hmm. They see it. And you know, 
my, I grew up with my hands, and I saw it happen to two of them. The two kids she had, two girls. They are in their fifties now. Lawyer, I'm telling you, they don't communicate. Cause. I'm telling you, they grew up with that hatred. They fought. I grew up knowing them fighting. Hmm. Till now, they don't still talk. They are well to do, both of them. Doing well, big months like that, two of them, but they don't communicate. They don't communicate. It's really bad, and it went down into the cousins because the children they gave back to they don't as well communicate. That's right. It cannot work anymore. When we go back home, uh, and they come as well because all of them are also abroad. You see, my hands, which we are, we, when I did with, we want to do, you know, patch patch. It cannot work again. Hmm. When there's family discussion, two of them cannot communicate. It doesn't flow, and it's affecting their children. Yes, we need to the causes them. And we that have grown, we knew how it all started. Hmm. So those things she passed on them, we can see. So I would just advise moms out there, don't make errors that when they grow up they will, they will mend it. They will never mend it. Hmm. It can never, never work. Once you've created that barrier, you're done. So the best thing is don't let it happen. Don't create cracks between your children. If it's just two you have, hmm. make them the best of friends before they go out of hands, before they start having external friends outside, they start sharing things with. Hmm. And once it's gone, it's gone. Because it's not once it's not right. In another family member that this happened to, this one's even worse. They can't see themselves face to face. Siblings, from yes. mommy and daddy, not step sisters, not step anything. Yes. They do not have to them. They get to know they saw the same place. Yeah. And the parents, you can tell every time that they are agonizing, they are in pain, that these children are like that. But what can they do? They've caused it from the beginning. Sure the grown ups as well know that the force is for mommy. I pray the Lord help us with that growing up with our children that we are able to teach them right for Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. It's a sensitive topic. I am not joking. It's a sensitive topic. I am not joking. We are on 07908. 62240. Is that still sibling that you can trust and confide in? Do you still have them out there that you can still trust? Honey, Ruby, are you? Oh, like that. Of Mondo, that man called me to battle with the city for the team. If it push you, it cannot push you to get, but it's giving you knowledge. That's what they call experience. Thank you for coming on. Thank you. Do we still have siblings that we can trust and confine in and we will not get our fingers burnt? The last caller spoke very well. I spoke my mind excellently. There's so much happening out there. The moment they know that you are taking steps to achieve or you are achieving, you become their greatest enemy. They will cook up in a way where they will not want to love you. Sometimes, no matter how mother try to cover things and, and blend things, these ones will still have a way to hate you because they think you are favored. Even though you are not the favorite, but you are making progress, you will still be their enemies. No matter how the mom try to concentrate on those ones that are not really up there and leave the one that is making progress aside so that they will not keep an eye on him or her. This one will still find a way to keep an eye on him because he's making progress and hate him for his success. Like that sister said, suck the same breast from the same mom. They will still hate. Is there still sibling that you can trust? That you can confine him and you will not have your finger bones. 
Thank you, Chris. Esau and Jacob is a typical example. God bless you rightfully. The problem started from the mother. Thank you. Esau and Jacob was a typical example. How can you favor the younger child ahead of the bro his brother? And you expected the brother, the younger brother to live better life, to live a uh, fruitful life. If not for God's fulfillment and God's hand, Esau will have cleared J uh, Jacob without doubt. The same thing that happens to Jacob because he was favored by his mother. They did not pass it on to Joseph again and left 11 sons and, and 10 sons. Even when Jacob, when Joseph went missing again, he favored Benjamin again ahead of those boys in the front. Abba. Are they not his? They are his. Abba. Thank you, that brother, Chris. God bless you. Esau and Jacob is another good an example. These are brothers and siblings in the Bible. So the problem dated biblically. The, the problem started from the Bible. Everything that is happening to us in life is from the Bible. Don't come back and tell me something is not biblical. I don't want to listen to any stories. Anything that happens on this planet has happened in the Bible. Nothing is for fake. Nothing is miracle. So nobody come around and come and tell me that something happened is not biblical. Please keep your stories. Keep your history. Keep your biblical illusion. We have read books in our lifetime. We have studied. We have gone to education. We have, we have been in classrooms. We have, we have sit for hours of studying. When we, we, we have even corrected lecturers and said, listen, that topic was not what you are teaching. So nobody should come around and come and tell anybody that something is not biblical. Things happening today is from Bible. The problem is dated back and it's worrisome. Nothing is automatic. The whole problem we are facing on the planet, whatever we do, whatever happens to us, they are all dated from the Bible. Thank you. I'm going to make. Ken and Abel is another good story. I know them. I love them. But I know the problem always dated back from jealous. Esau and Jacob, Cain and Abel, Joseph and his brothers, and many others that we will still remember before we finish this topic today. Where are we heading to? Who can we trust? Who can we trust? Any or ever da come off his shape, you know, and they have been being done. Thank you, thank you. You you hit the nail on the head. If your friend betray you, don't get upset because your siblings does and they can do. So if you're let down by a friend, why are you making noise? It's just a friend. It's only a friend. That is why in journey in life, always leave a gap for fight. Always leave a room for fight. If you don't leave a room for fight in relationship, in, 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 in a friendship, you're going to get your fingers burnt. Because you should know your mind, you should know your mind, but you can't tell about other people's mind. Mind is the deepest and far place to know, to, to enter. On Inology, I like that proverb. When your friend betrays you, why are you getting upset? Why are you killing yourself? It's just a friend that you know elsewhere. It's not from home. The person you even have called, you called your simply, destroy things for you. Look at another good proverb. Yes, it's, it means that the enemy within. We need to be very careful. Exactly. We're not saying you can't trust siblings. We are saying that enemy with this is in the house. Sister, don't get the topic wrong. 
you need human beings. I need them. Like we all need our family. But when you have encountered turbulence, and I mean really turbulence with your sister, your brothers, you will know that you have to tighten your belt. You will know that you have to, you have to fasten the loose belt. The more experience you have with them, the more you, you know what life has ahead of you. The more you sit tight. It is not a joking matter. Thank you. I'm gonna do the music for you now. Do you understand? Do you understand? It's not that easy. You don't know who is who. So the only way out is when things start happening. The only way out is to tighten your bed. You don't tighten your bed, you get your finger burnt. And you could not have a lot of enemy within. They are the most dangerous. Because it will get it takes time for you to know that they are dangerous. Is it not your sibling that that listen? If your if your sibling love you dearly, why can't your sibling love your wife? Eh? Did you forget that? Why can't your sibling support your husband? If he or she does love you like he love he loves you as he has said or she has said. Why can't she love your dogs? There is a proverb that says, if you love me, you have to love my dogs. Have you forgotten? Eh? Have you, have you forgotten? <laughs> New York City, thank you. Thank you, ma. Good afternoon, New York City. Thank you. So thank you. Please. I love this topic. First of all, personally, to the question, my own is no. And like what you are saying, I'm listening to some comment. Like what the sister wants to start that you can't live without love or trust. Hmm. Like me, I, I I embrace everybody, both friends and family. But I still don't understand why I still don't get it because I have to, I, I always have some people. Well, I, I don't. I, I'm not going to blame God. Because I don't know what that is. Somebody, it will happen. A journey of one 
year can take a, a seven years. God promised to accomplish that what I believe. But I, I, I play with everybody getting on about. Because I realize that these people they are evil. But I won't show it to them. I will be playing the way God wants me to do for them. But they are paying me evil. No, but me, I don't I don't pay attention to it. Me and my family, none of us will have okay. We are four. None of us. I have one before me. And I have two. No, I have one after me. And I have two before me. The one before me, like my junior brother, is the one that they are following them. Like for I want to bring my brother, my junior brother to America past like eight years now. They told him that I'm going to get the paper from, uh, from the floor. But if they like here, why did they get the paper from the floor and use it to bring it to America? But you know, I don't care. <laughs> like what I told you, thank God I'm America, I'm only in Nigeria. We don't have mother, we don't have father. I'm living my life now like I, I'm a child of God, that God is my father, is my mother. And it's my family, everything is God. And I have three children. Thank God, all my children. They are, but that's the one I'm fighting with one. They will, the other one will join the other one that I'm fighting with. And they will be fighting me like, you don't talk, fight. You know, if I beat one before when they are in Nigeria, one of them will be, will be crying. For me, it really is the thing for me that I, when I like want the sister say one time, the first caller like, oh, when they see some uh, siblings that is not heavy there, but me, I don't say I, I'm not heavy there. I'm a heavy there, God, I love the way they are doing. I want to do the same thing, and I try my own possible means. It didn't work. Hmm. Like my sister now, when she when children have problems, I, I don't know, it's 28 years when she has problems. Me and her mother is not talking. She came to my house and she spent nine months in my house. I didn't say whatever your mother did for me. That I want to, you know, take my salary. No. I paid her at my dollar. I put her through. If she did not go to get married in Nigeria, if me that did that wedding that she want to, that marriage that she want to celebrate in Nigeria this weekend. But the mother is doing it good to me, but I don't care. She will want to make you talk bad about me, talk everything. I don't care. It's not that I have like what they have. But I don't know why they want. Whether it's a. Uh, I don't know why I'm going to put, uh, put before get off. I don't know why they get off me. Every Sunday they're going to go on my Facebook. They're going to tell everybody to see what she wears, see what is this. And this one is. When I was in Nigeria, she will come to she will come to Nigeria inside my wardrobe. I'm not in America by that time, and I don't mind. I get it okay for her. I don't know what is that. I don't know why it's envy me. I don't know why. Because what she got, I didn't have her for what she got, but I'm contented with what I got. But anyway, as me, it's capital no. And I don't know whether I, I'm not a god because God, god is in Haku God is have shaped this around. If you go to if you go to talk, is there going to come to me like you for someone always say that oh uh eh, one of my brother uh, man they are uh, no in my own way he can't walk home. I'm sorry to say he can't walk that program is not working for me. If both of them they will come to me and if they come to me I will face them but I know that God I did it like two or three times, they are still doing the same thing. There is gonna be a level of embracement that I'm gonna to give to them. And guess what, man? Like what people said from the beginning, my mommy called some of it. And this, my sister is my mommy's favorite. It's sweet that we go to the heavy hand. Can you believe when my mommy passed away, this favorite uh, daughter don't come home? Hey, tell me about it. And everybody, and guess what? Me that I'm the first born that my mommy said that, oh, I can't become anything, I can't become that. I'm the one that let no people know that my mommy died in Nigeria. That whatever they spend here, I spend it because both of us were in America, but the favorite daughter don't don't get to the very telephone you. Did you say? But I, I everybody has their own different different issue. And this is a good topic and it's practical life. It's a practical life uh, issue. Nothing to read it. Everybody has their own in their family, it depends on individual. And I saw some people, some family. Like what they said, they are, they are, they have a, uh, uh, like what do I say? They have good relationship before they left their father or their mother house. Some, some women are married to the men and some men married to the woman. They share them around the way too. Exactly. Because I see some mother or parents, they, they are lamenting. Like, this is not the way I raise my son, no. This is not the way I raise my daughter. Because the wife or the husband changed them. Everything is happening. It's only God's 
from the United States of America, New York City. I tend to see them when they call home my work. Fantastic. She spoke rightfully. That was well spoken. That favor I did not attend on time for the preparation of barrier. She did not even put money down. Many of them would not even have money to put down for barrier. Those that they call themselves Omolojuya <laughs> Hold on, Kola, hold on. You see, I want to tell mothers that are out there, shame on you if you favor a child that comes from your womb ahead of another same child of your womb. Shame on you. And today should be the day that you have to think of repent because it does not make sense to anyone in this world anymore. Why would you love a child better than the other child, both of which are from your womb? You are the genesis of your children's problem. You created it. You created that differences. That jealousy is from you, mothers. Whether you are sleeping in your in your in your tomb, or you are still on this planet, you should blame yourself for bringing that problem and leaving the problem behind and leaving your family in that kind of a traumatic situation. Because it is unfair to the one that is less less favored why do we blame the english for, for saying that we're discriminated against why do we say they have to pass discrimination art race discrimination art when even within the house is happening from mother to children jacob and esau cain and abel joseph and his siblings brothers why are we having that why would you favor a child ahead of ahead of another child of the same of your womb of, of your time And I think it's really unfair because you are not passed away. The, those mothers, have, some, some of them have gone to rest. But what about the problem they left behind that they failed to take care of and it's now generating from one generation to another? Even cousins does not know each other. They cannot even pick up a phone and say hello to each other in England because their mothers are not even talking. There is rivalry between mothers already. So there is no way siblings, the children, the cousins can go out together or the nephew can go to an auntie and go and take, to ask for favor. Imagine when you travel overseas and you need somebody to be there for you. You cannot even trust a sister of yours because she's no longer trusted. She's jealous or she's thinking of how you will die, that she can take some of your houses in Nigeria or your bank or take over. And when you have siblings like this doing that, you need to tie to your belt. If you don't tie to your belt, you are the one creating your, your, your graveyard at an early stage. Speak on color. We lost that color, she will come back. So the truth has to be spoken. And I don't know why people don't want to understand. We cannot be the same. Because in the first instance, fingers are not equal. understand fingers are not equal so it takes me by surprise when people think that it's something that they can continue to live like that with you can't live with it like that you can't hello good afternoon Ma. are you trying to contribute to our program I want people to hear you, so I want to attach you to the speaker straight away. Please, go ahead, ma. Go on then. Yeah, because 
Experience that they just shared, you know. It is, it's it's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. I like that your bar proverb. And you'll be to my dad, do I hear one lot Exactly. You will know how your lifetime will be, how your past on will be after where you have gone, if you have taken care of your lifetime. But if you don't take care of it, it's going to be messy after you have gone. Some evil fight at the graveyard. Have you seen that before? They fight on the body. Some fight on body. Where to take the body to? Where to bury her or him? They fight because there were no, there's no, there's no what you call unity. So oh no, share your con. Not one word. They not. They can't have one. They can't have leader. The head of the house, which is the firstborn, has lost his track as a leader. And as a result of that, of course there's going to be a problem. And you know why they, they steal us again sometimes in the family? If one has problem with her relationship, like I said last time in my other program, it will come back onto another sibling that is happily married, as if you are the creator of his or her destiny. Instead, come back for long. Instead to accept your destiny as it has come and work on it and continue striving. We are not all gifted equally. My strength could be your weakness and your weakness, your strength could be my weakness. We are not gifted equally. God doesn't do it equally. So when people are fighting for equal pay act, equal pay with men, I smile, I laugh. There is no way you can have equal pay with men. God does not do it equally. Fingers are not equal. So there is no way it can be equal. Things have messed up from the beginning. And it's going to remain forever. Yes, the topic I treated last time. Once they have problem in their relationship, they will bring it to their assembly that is happily married. As if he or she is the creator of their problem, genesis of their problem. But it's not. Is jealous when there is jealous among siblings a lot of things stand still and no no progress in that within that family anymore the progress will stop immediately because we have four people can do things perfectly one alone cannot achieve it there's no way forget about it we have four of you can dish out and put yourself at the task and run it around and get it done within certain time one will struggle, even with money, he will see or she will struggle to get it done. Why are we jealous of each other? Siblings, I mean. Why do we have to be jealous of our sisters? When our God is the God that gives and takes care of destiny. Why are we jealous of our, our, our sibling, our sisters, our brothers making progress? Why do we feel so bitter about their progress? 
and you when you feel bitter about somebody you are hurting yourself because they are progressing they are carrying on with their open mind do you get me they are striving in their open mind above all is what is required is open mind when your mind is open and clear you do everything in God with peace of mind it's becoming an immensely uncontrollable something that is out of control completely because no matter how you want to try to please somebody who is jealous of your status of your of your of your stature let's let's conclude let, let's put it together and say stature stature is wealth is success is status is everything your stature if you're not careful if that is the person that will kill you if you pretend to harbor her him or her don't harbor there is no need to harbor genocide abe Hello? Yeah, good afternoon. Yes, ma. Do you want to contribute, ma? Okay.
stand on my way, I won't fight you. I will just walk away. That's it. I don't care who you are. You are my parents. You are my even. You are my mom. I don't care. I will try to be nice to you. Then if I know that you don't want to, ah, please go. Oh, eh, oh, eh. I want you again or something. So, and so what's in it? La 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 la. Who's the? Who's the one who's the? I said the real. I want to see about six. Badly, you can't give me. The hallway. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. Try, try, to, to, to let our children work together. It's very important. Okay, ma. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you for your presentation. Bye-bye. Um, the Republic of Ireland that is trying to call in, you can call in now from Dublin that you are trying to get through. It's such a very busy life sometimes, you know, and I love people to contribute to my program, especially when it's like this. That sister that just spoken, I've spoken very well. This is the pro, this is the person. Hello. Thank you for calling in. Thank you for calling back. Ekaro ma. Ekaro, thank you ma. Ekushe no ma. Yes ma, from Ireland. I'm going to contribute. I'm going to contribute one or two things. Thank you ma. Go ahead ma. Yes ma. Cherry or Tesco is a very good topic ma. But in most cases, it's not the fault of the mother. That's the proverb that person put there. But thanks to the sister that just called now. Excellent word. You know, when I see something, I know I see it. When I see hear words, I know I understand words very well. You know, that that was a perfect um, contribution. We are not generalizing. There will be some situation where mom impact does not come into this at all. There are some situations that mom does, mommy has nothing to do at all. It's just that they hate you for no reason. They just look at your stature and thinking that you're, 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 you're flying. And they just build up their hatred. 
no matter how much money you give them. Have you set some of them up in business and they ruin that business? Have you seen it before? You will set them up to do business for their life and their family. They will finish that money, ruin that business, yet come back to you for another money. So it's not that they are all, all shake, shake, family. Forget it. Some of us have passed stage when where you can point fingers that ah ole se pe ko se fa won e bi e ba ye o ko sha counter lai lai ever since some of us are younger we have been responsible from day one before even attaining the age of majority some of us have been flying responsibility and flowing in it but regardless of how much you have you can do or you have done to them they will still not be satisfied. Have you seen a scenario where you go to a bank and you collect a huge cash and say, listen, I am not transferring this money intentionally. Take it. Go and start your life. He will collect the money and say thank you as if he, you, you hold him that money you are paying back. And when it comes to discussion and gossip, he will not tell others that he has collected money from you. Have you seen that scenario before? It is among them that they are debating and gossiping about that situation during the gossip that will come back and say, ah, ah, oh, take him for kinika kinika. And that is when you will now know that, ah, oh, my full wo, he has given, she has given her this, he has given her that. And then the nurse will now come up and say, Ah, I buy a new year in the little room. So I take the woba in the water room, woba in the water more day here. That's all. So that sister was right. Not all the time. The mom in it, but in part. Any year go go from right. That particular person has problem. And if you are not careful, they will cook up. They will form group. They will form carcass in your lifetime and create unwanted enemies within the house for you. So it's not a situation you can pretend. It's a complex matter. It's a difficult one. There is no way you can pretend that your siblings is fine. I want to continue carrying on in a normal way. It is true that we need family, but when your life is at a threat or is under threat, I would suggest that you give that space before it's too late. If you don't give space, ha, you will not be able to blame yourself on this planet anymore. You will have to be the other planet where you will be putting hand in your mouth. And be blaming yourself that if you have known you this thing, you will have still been on this face uh, planet. So that is why we have to be careful. There are still some siblings that are that are just doing their own. They don't care. As long as you are alive, you are doing your thing. They are doing theirs. But there are some that you they don't they, they don't want you to do your thing. They just want you dead. Because your progress, your success, your life is affecting them. Have you heard about those prayers that says that? Pray. Pray against anyone that your living is, 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 is building a threat for. Pray against them that they should, you should give them harm lives. Badura. Bogba wanti iwala ye won. Iwala ye ti embi won inu. Tell God to move them away from your vicinity. You're living. It's making them cry. Ask God to move them away from your vicinity. It's possible. Hello? Hello, ma. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon, We are in a pro Thank you, we are in a program. Are you contributing? Okay, thank you. Another New York is calling, but let's finish the let's hear yours. New York will call back again. Yes. Yeah, I just want to contribute my own. I've been contributing by typing in some messages anyway. Okay. Comments. Okay, all yeah. right. 
Now, this thing you are talking about is only people that have not experienced it hmm. that will be like it's not real or that we are taking it too far. Hmm. I have experienced it with my in laws, my husband's siblings. Hmm. Do you know that out of five children, four of them form cackles against him? Hmm. It's actually the first one. And that's why the fact that this guy doesn't hold them anything. He still go out of his way to help them. But do you know what they do? Out of uh, jealousy or what have you, they start, you know, saying things against him. In fact, there was a time they had a function. The second born got married. He didn't call my husband to tell him he's getting married. We should have noticed that we've been calling him. We are in the UK. We've been calling him and doing all sorts. He won't answer our call. So after the wedding, the uncles, my father-in-law now sat one of them down. That what is really going on? The brother said you didn't even call him to tell him you are getting married. That's why the father you didn't tell him. He sent money to your parents for most of these things. They now open up. Mommy, if you listen to what they are saying, hmm. irrelevant. Hmm. And when he was coming abroad, he didn't tell us. Hmm. He even asked his uh, wife to come. I joined him uh, like 2015. He didn't hmm. even tell us. The wife got there before we know. Hmm. When he came in, I, I intentionally not picking his call. He now made a statement, mommy. He said, So bad, just your way. No more fish, you I know. I was like, my God. You can, you can have such. Yeah. And out of these siblings, out of the siblings, I need two of them that are graduate today. To God be the glory, my husband's in input is also there. In fact, their father, during the meeting, their father called them Omwali. He said, no, try me on Mule, so I did. But unfortunately, they have the mother's support. That's it. They have the mother's support. And the mother, to the father told the mother that, and you yell that, and you yell that, the truth is, okay, me, you're not my mom. Now, I'm talking about you yell that, and you yell that, okay, me, you're not my mom. So it happens, mommy. It happens. If I told you the last one, okay, we send to come up, but come in, no one will So come out, you need anything. They will call daddy. Daddy will say, you know, I'm retired. Call your, call your brother. Hmm. And that's what, that's why the father, my, my husband sends money to the father, and it's told his father, now you like you want to move money get the job new. Simba will be need to share anything for. And he don't believe anything, let him call me. They cannot call, but they were like, he should be the one. That if he cares for them, he should be the one calling them. Chadwell Rary. Chadwell Rary. I thank God. But don't worry, but you know, everyone is not peace of mind. Me, I just deleted their numbers and just put them where they belong. That's mm -hmm. just it. So it happens, ma. It happens. It happens. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Yeah, you are really you. doing a great job. Thank you. God bless you. In your lifetime, your own children, they shall be mighty Amen. in the name of Jesus. Thank you. With you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. United States, you can call back now from New York City. You can call back now, United States of America. Thank you. This is UK. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Thank you. Eka Yes, Just go ahead. Just go ahead. Um, some people are brought up very well. But when they got married, they love like crazy. What we'll can love? Because I know what I'm saying. Up point of our party, our change mind you. Our our get away simply so you go together. You know some people will just love like mad love. To the quick when you, when you love, you love with the conscience that the money and what you do. What do you mention? That you are not going to get one affair that you need. 
yawo won lo ma je kon 80 siblings won ko si obi laye yi ti ko mi fe bright but awon obi wa so won de bi pe won ni show e si wa like my mother i am telling you we don't know who she loves she scold everything body together she smack everybody together but i know inside her she got favorite but she never say but when everybody parted that was the marry iyawo wa ini iyawo ton lo fe ko leko ini oko to lo fe selfish she mo anti ki ti le expect for moti o leko to lo gbe wa sinu le oko to je pe o leko nkan o wa selfish o fe ko je wi pe iyawo ohun nikan ni ko wo ti iyawo ohun ni ko ma se fun awon ebi to ohun nikan ko ma se fun awon abure a lot angle different angle you try to see what see other siblings different angle e je ka o kini ko yoruba ni wa emi pe yin tori mo ti ri yin physical ni mo de mo pe eyin na ti pe na ijari ani culture ani culture but ti ma ta ba fe rawa to awon awon to mari yen de so culture in the bin you want to marry somebody and you want the person to forget the gifts of our family how is that possible hatred is going to come Hmm. But when you marry, don't mind your husband's business. Me, uh, I'm of the opinion that when you marry, do not do joint accounts. Tell everybody, my told you I will be. Ben, don't do joint accounts with anybody. Told you I will be. I just came to told you I will be. Ben, Saba. Ben, use your money and use my money. Because you are pretty cool. You feel bright. Right. Emi fun o to fun yin ni oni favorite for now but nkan to ma je ki awon obi ni favorite ni pe nigba te ba ran gbogbo won lo si school po ti kan fi pata ti ko fi pari school ti kan ti kan se nkan to ye ko se then then we bring up ba ba lo si school ba o lo se fe sori re wa wa da gba pelu liability ni wa wa expect pe awon abun re kon ni ko ma help e dojo waju e gba e kon ni ko ma help e dojo waju is never done If I fail, I fail. Fail your own children, the enemy, the sibling. Fail your own. 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 <laughs> Did you see what I'm saying? That no fellow who go to move by by, you go to new go go old, you go make use of old way. Oh no, oh no, old way still not to that. We go anyway for twenty years. So she share on both social. Who they fed the Roman to see any? Who they fed? Who they fed? Who they fed? Dress like I told she share. No more, no more. We are faring the one no far cosy. Why I told she any far cosy? She go back she share mafia cosy. Go back to she go back money. She go mat mafia seven inches to me mafia ten. More let go back better say no. I work for my money. Walk. You polish your car before you leave your house in the morning. when you came to Manchester, I saw your bag. I, 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 you, you were putting on white top and you dressed to kill. I want you to get there. You are not buying shop for you. So I am with them. Like I do not take you, that. You, you, you saw my bag. Party. Which which bag? You want to be with me, Auntie? Oh, ah, Auntie. Oh, uh, you. <laughs> can you buy it? I I'm a lover of bags. I saw you. I'm you? a lover of bags. I mean, ah, this Auntie. Lover of bags. You want? Oh, you need to. So you. I want to take the one last of it. Hey, can she share that day? Can you see your shackle? You can see my young kids. You back here. They go do a song. They go do a song. Check our Yoruba. At the at the man, the sentiment is your own. Do not like failure, like failure. Hmm. Auntie, God bless you. Continue. God bless you, my dear. Thank you. Thank you. And it's all my bad, darling. Yeah. It's a bother to your Yoruba. And you're a Manchester, a bad. You're a Manchester, colossal, right? Yeah. Oh, bad. Oh, lot of them want to want to do Manchester. They put on the power up with all the. And you're a Manchester, a bad. In the most of the you are baddest. How can you catch up on my back on that day when it was so busy? You still saw my back, saw my dressing. Bless you all of you. Hello. Hello, ma. Thank you, sir. That I run into your company. Thank God. I don't ask you to come and cut your costume or that cocoa. Don't show your jacket. 
Thank you, bless you. Maybe Yeah, because on pas 2000 pounds. A bro mi te fait non 2000 pounds en Nigeria. On dit mais comment dit nai comme comme la clé la clé to se dai stand dire ni même on dit Yes, yes, I'm with you. Mi pe ya ko mi asho ke ko 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 wa stop for a certain time. La ti te ki be en wa te tu. Hmm. On tori pour moi j'ai pété on pété 2000 pounds. Et ben il ja ko ko ni ma mère fi te Ya won be ja o won be ja bubu ko lodede oyi na o de o na look at you pray your group ni e bo se pere e o moye wa lowo eni ko fe no o sare fun ni stances ko ah lati ba ti mo ti pass le mo ti mo ko to ma mo de ko 24 step woman is ti man she think that man she think that because two ways the money ti bi ba yo ba so me mo na je ma so ti na yo ba so me mo bi ba ma so me to ba de to ta to style yeah Yeah, People want to marry one law school. Nimbat on law school, Nigeria economic book of a year and law school. A law is your book who speak that you are bad. Eh, it only puts one way in Boni who felt I should read this year. If you are one in the pork, how good in the pork? Forty years in this year ago, clear by the solo cost of work. One shot by one body. I want you all on law school by then. If you are not cheaper, I want to be mobile. So can you buy one go? You let me ring back in the bed. Too much the or family and one taboo causing the cousin, the envy about you are. Envy my work. You want by envy, what all the sassy what you put the old with the shake out of it because nobody had. But what can you know? What can you call it five years ago? And I think I'm looking right there. Your negative part of you. Change book to balo that they have come and get power bank then. Negative things to my children's life to balo remove that that to be able to direct them. Why to my children power bank to my children but to my to my low not be not be good guy but. Hmm. For many of us we use that negative part like it's negative. We got your daddy to we see like you got your daddy the first one. Hmm. We don't want to do. We many of my friends want to put us in. I want to enjoy it a lot. You want to watch it, I want to know. Which is true. Only something with football. I'm going to play Manchester. Because I'm going to play. 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 Ti ne va pas s'en mettre sur l'account hier. On ne va pas m'aider à investiguer l'account hier. Tu vois, ma papa peut venir. Qu'est-ce qu'il est mort Parce que mon copain, pour qui papa il est d'accord, pour les dignes. Là, tu es dans tes yeux pour les motifs pour m'aider à dire. On ne m'a pas d'accord, j'ai mis un dégât. Account de l'homme, c'est aussi. Mon ami, tu vois, c'est une fois que tu m'as ouvert ton bidet. Il est mort, il est mort, il est mort, il est mort, il est mort. I want to come out of town. I want to run. I want to come out alone in the car. I'm back where. Because this time, I'm surprised when it comes on for me. I put my last page. 250 million. I want to steal my bread. I'm going to come. I'm going to get it. 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 Oh, I'm going to get it. 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 I'm going
all because he lived on a set like lived on a set like it. Nick, but you know why you walk. Nick, but you want to discover if I'm one, but I'm not one big one. You want some make a good way. So, because we just put more like food. So, a you bow from God. If you come working, continue on back in fight the whole thing. Then, come back in fight the lotion by two people. Wow. But if four victims at the maga, if you want to share, you know, about the share more. And the more they are doing you, the more you are getting poor. The more they are teaching you, the more you are getting poor. When you man look tough part me, when you man look negative part me, when you man look positive side. Yes. So my own attraction, who must tell us to go? Last year, 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 last but because of me, my kind of want to provide in negative here, but there has to more and more, 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 put to a put, more, more, they want establish a quadrant. Right? But no, it's a warehouse for all. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for your contribution. Thank you. Thanks for your contribution. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Carla, please call back in another two minutes. There is so much happening between siblings. Believe me, it's a very controversial, uh, controversial statement and it's very controversial. So it needs a bit of wisdom to apply into it. You know? Without wisdom, there's no way you can do it. You can deal with it. You really have to apply wisdom. you will talk class huh? I want you to listen to that music and enjoy it when your mind is not at rest with your siblings up and down but me my mind is at rest though. I play my part I leave the rest nothing bothers me You want to be to football, you have to you have to walk like to football. I'm a workaholic. When I say workaholic, I am a workaholic. Oh, the one here, right, Coco. Oh, no, fed Jack Bamba. Oh, God, find a way that's Jack Bamba. Oh, look what you do now. So, about Joko, so you call you sit in one place and you are claiming for somebody else is using your go. I know, go dirty. Who wants to use dirty destiny? Destiny that does not even purport with what is happening in the, in, in, in the, in the first class ruling world. Who wants to have time? And they rule with people of substance, people of caliber, caterpillar and caliber. People who make decisions overnight before we wake up and change the decisions overnight before you wake up. And you can affect the stock market. People who push stock market anyhow, who, who affect the world with their talks, with their speech, with their, with, their, with their business. You might be talking about Donald Trump and talking about his brutality in the way he talks with ruthless manner. But I like his business acumen. When somebody is business oriented, I enjoy them like anything. I love Richard Branson. I love Mike Adenuga. I love Dan Gote. I love Femi Otedola. I love Fulon Ushualakija. Do you understand? I love those people who impart world, who impart life. I don't care what people say. 
But I love them. Because they move, they move world. Newcastle owner is one of my favorite, Mark Ashley. I love Mike Ashley like any other day. Because he's a, he's a ruthless businessman. I love people who think ruthlessly in business and, and turn one pound to 50 pounds. Make one pound and turn it to 10 pounds, turn it to 20 pounds and 50 pounds. I'm not having time for people who gossip, who rat rounds. I'm thinking about somebody using your stupid destiny, dirty destiny. And creating a thread and, and, and unnecessary gossip within your sibling. Just because she's dressing, she's making progress, she's doing well. People love her. And you are going around and thinking somebody is using your destiny. Kill you go to only. Not fair you. Only can I be a work, be a mower. Anything you will die, you will die, you will die. We need to be careful the way we treat each other among ourselves, siblings. A bad taboo. Come on, if you know where I want, come on, let's trust that I want. Come on, let's help her. Come on, let's help her. Do it. What all on she do? A shame like that. That's my right way of doing it. And you can be a paro. Yes, yeah, 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 when it's not working well. It can't continue like that. There are things that we are doing that is not worth doing. We need to change. We need our family accepted. We need our siblings. We need our sisters, our brothers. In your shallow short to me. But so much in life, who know? So you go on by one party, or what of the dear dear. Because if they don't know your journey, they cannot affect it. But the moment they know your plan, they will affect it. They will affect you and affect it, and make sure that it doesn't materialize in a good way. Ijalara or Kintamboro, jealous fight does not end easily. It doesn't end easily. You have to be careful with your siblings. The one that is not good. Of course, the one that is good, you carry on with it now. You carry on with it without that. You can call in on 0790862840. I've intentionally come up, come on board to this lengthy program to be intention. 0790862840. From the United States, you can call back now. My line is open for you. New York City. And the United Kingdom that has been struggling to get through. Hello? Zero seven nine zero eight. So you just called now. Can I help you? Can I help you? Zero seven nine zero eight six two eight two four zero zero seven nine zero eight six two eight two four zero. We are live right now on Facebook. We are talking about my page. You need to like my page so that you can have notification. You have to like it to have notification. Hello, Ekaso, you're on live. It's me. We are, we are doing a different program entirely, so don't put yourself out here. We are doing a program on siblings. So, are you... Which part of it?
if you have spent 10 years lawfully without a break, you can then put in your application for indefinite leave to remain at the end of your 10th year lawful residence in the United Kingdom. A break, a break will come up when the visa run out and you were struggling to renew it or you were, you were in appeal more than once. If you go to appeal more than once, you will lose that break. You will lose that continuity. Appeal is only once allowed in your 10th year. If it continues more than that, then you're going to lose the continuity of lawful residence. The rule is still the same, yeah. Okay, and um, you on, you, if you're on 10 years, it doesn't matter. Once you can calculate your lawful residence without gap, you can go in for your indefinite leave to remain. Say what? You have to be careful with premium service. If you don't get good advice, don't go for premium service because you're going to be refused and it's going to affect you. I think you should put it in and post it, but you need to get advice. Make sure you have all the documents in place and you calculate your 10 years correctly. Okay, good luck. We're still talking about the issue of siblings. Can they still be trusted? Can we confide in them? Are we not going to get our finger points? If you have something private and you don't want to discuss with somebody else and you discuss with your sister of your same brother, same father, are you not going to get your hand bumped? Are you going to get it bumped? Or you discuss with your brother? Is he not going to talk about it to the five other members of the family and they will continue going out like that? Or do you think it's something that is perfect that you can just say it and don't care? You know, can you still trust them? Are they not jealous? Are they good for you? My name is Tokumbo Lagbaye Emejo Kinjasha. You know me very well. But over the past few months now, I have decided to be bringing a show of this type on board from time to time so that people can know what is happening among us and they can use it to correct their own mistake. When you don't correct yours, there's no way you can correct others. Let's read comments and see what people have been telling us here. To all my siblings, love you all biggest. Please, Mark, can you please increase the volume of your phone? is the foundation by our parents. Parents should try as much as possible to impart moral and core values onto their children right from childhood. Hello? Thank you for calling in. Can you let people hear your volume a bit, your voice? Yeah. I think it was 6-1. Australia, all the way from Australia, fantastic. Mark Zagerberg has done a lot to impact our lives with this social media team, and I gave, her, gave him that salute of respect. All the way from Australia, you're hearing my voice in the United Kingdom, and you can even see me. Thank you, thank you, continue.
Can you hear me, sister? We lost track. Can you still hear us? Yes, ma'am. I hear you. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. No one, no one, no Keep in touch with me. Please keep in touch with me. Thank you. Thank you. Ha! Ha! Good day. I'm going to I go for sister, yes, so. But there is no consino. I got to be in your to dead, you lay your lorry. Come, my daddy, Lama, why dear, one more to be curiosity. Come, my so pay, come logo, do you call logo, do you call logo? Come, what to hear, coat, see, daddy, conical, my bill of doing, and come off your jay, to look your book, carry lonely, pay, come logo, la, yet one logo, la, what's of go, go, la, logo. O go wa kos la gbari ko kawe o wa nga pa laare awon egbon e ha abiya mo e de sha e de sha nu aye ke ki esara abiya mo e de jo ke ti owo ogo te npa wo kri ke ti ba so ke ke wo yi ba so ke ma ba ye je pelu asha ti se te je kiri be koro se se asha ti se o be o kin mi ni kun agba e de sha nu aye eyin obi te ba se nseru ele ke ki owo mo yi ba so why don't you stop this nonsense of checking people's life and destiny? Even especially those of you that come on Facebook and come and check people's progress and life and what they are doing. Why don't you back off and leave individuals to their life and destiny? Why don't you back off? Why are you doing this? You come on social media and check people's progress, check people's photographs, check people's pictures, and then you will use it to talk to them that this is what God says. May God not forgive you for your wrongdoing. And the parents that have shot the glory of God that have messed up, I pray that the Lord Almighty God will forgive you. This is not right at all. That last caller make me cry inside me. That last caller from Australia, you made me cry inside me. No, 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 it shouldn't have been. No, how can parents be doing that? How, for God's sake, how can you love your child ahead of another, your child? Now going out to go and check their destiny and you return back to say one is going to be better off than the other and start maltreating her leave her to go and live with someone else in your lifetime ah ah sad 
it's sad. She a biya mani ye, o she wun, a bi mbola. She a biya mani ye. She a biya mani ye. Inye o kin she a biya mo, kan ba mo, bo kwe wun ya lo ja, wun la nu wun bi mani. Ko kin she a biya mo. Ah. No. It's sad. It's really sad. In me. It's sad in my heart. My heart broke. It's sad in my heart. My heart bleed. I have been hearing it. I thought it was rumors. That we have mother that maltreat our own child ahead of another child that comes from her. Hello. Hello. Thanks for calling in. Thank you. Thanks for bringing up this, this, this topic, man. Another thing is happening. 
Contribute into this program. Experience in it. Anytime, any day that I bring program onto us, it's not hearsay, it's not fiction, it's for real. Do you understand? It's for real. You really are here, Lagba. My name has not changed, Tokumbo Lagba, it's just that we need to be imparting each other with wisdom and knowledge of what is happening around us so that we can be wary of it. And it's what we call awareness. We need to create awareness so that we can know how to treat others and how to deal with people when we come across or when we come in contact. Every marriage, you know, senior, every man break any time. Every man go over, over dim low or yebi. Every man lose contact with way It's not a big deal. I want to call me mommy, dad, dad, no yera I As like I said last time, there's nothing wrong with my personality because that is me. My personality is me, so it means yeah. My attitude is who you are to me. And that is what is affecting both of us. Attitude. Tio Bara Muba will wash him who was semi. But personality to me, they me or they change personality me. So Boba Timba She She is my personality. You take me as I am, and I will take you as you are. But don't bring funny attitude, jealous or any rubbish thing to my life and thinking that I can change for you and blend for you. Co possible. So don't expect others to change for you. Don't expect others to blend for you. Just carry on. Two only work together because they can they understand each other. It takes two to tango. When two people are together and find find understanding within each other, then that means they find it. The third party is the person that needs to move back. In siblings, there's so much rumors going on. Whether this is true or not, I don't know. But I, I, I call it the answer, sister. I call it the answer. But the problem between siblings, it's bad. We need to curb it, we need to control it. Or what other delineation, wash your phone. And I do mind is a lazy mind. And I do mind is an evil mind. When you are idle, you don't have work to do, you are not busy, your brain is not occupied. You are tends to start thinking bad about people that are making progress and doing well in their own little capacity. Because your mind is empty, your mind is not filled up with jobs or things to think of. If I pick up a phone and call you, you should be thanking, thanking God because I don't make phone calls. I haven't got the time. So anything back where you could buy me. If I call you, you should be take, you should be drumming and enjoying a merriment. Be ah, I do pay ojo aturo lola, ojo aturo lola di koro lola do fi pay me. When I used to run after people and call people, one or more value it. So I don't waste time. I only call once in a year to some people. Or even I've not even called some for t for two three years because for see time that's gossip, that's my rant and talk rubbish. 
and think about simply that is jealous that her mind or his mind is not occupied with success or progress that is thinking of somebody to know go Somebody is doing well. I'm a part one logo. You can't go with it. I don't know. 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 Thing about you won't see me when I when I hate you, it means you are evil. It means your heart is not plain. It means all you can think of is damage, destroy. And you don't to sue me because I don't run after people. I make friends from distance, from far. Evil siblings. I deal with them in my own little capacity. But believe me or not, the siblings you left before you left Nigeria cannot be the same anymore if you are not careful. And for those of you that have a close relationship with your siblings, please keep it up. And you tell me, Oman, you are touring them. Tell me, what do you tell me? 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 My dad, no, don't throw it away. Keep it up. I think I like that spirit. I think it's good. But the one that wants to kill you, I will advise that you give arms length, like my person said there. Hey, you, B, the parents out there, I can't feel it how I, how I can love one child and the other. But I know my last born is naughty because he knows he's the youngest. So I know he's naughty. So I tend to take milk on him and his senior understand that and laugh it off. But apart from that, I will not build a house with my hand and, 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 and destroy it with my hand. Sabada, it will never happen. I won't build a house with my hand and then destroy it with my heart. It will never happen to me, not in my lifetime. It's a bad thing. It's not encouraging. The damages the father of Jake, of Joseph done and did to his life was not pleasant. If not for God, Joseph would have died in the midst of it. Remember he was thrown into a pit, a deep pit. He was sold into slavery. But because the God has already made promise for him, that is why that destiny was able to materialize. It is not every situation you are fortunate like that, like Joseph won. You will also see, notice that in the midst of it, there were temptations, Pharaoh's wife, or Potiphar's wife rather, that wanted him to sleep with him wanted her to sleep with him. But for God's provisions for Joseph, he was able to overcome all these problems, trials, and tribulations, and excel to become the biggest in the land of Egypt at that time. Second to Pharaoh. It was only crown that Pharaoh pronounced that made him to be above Joseph. But because it is written. So we need God in our doing. We need love. When love is absent, there can be anything. Anything can happen. Hatred will, will come in, will click in straight away. So we definitely need to love one another. In your home, your siblings are important. Find a way to see if you can make amendments, but give distance. Find a way, because the Bible taught us how to, to have spirit of forgiveness, so also Quran did. So we should learn how to forgive, but give arm's length. I love you, Enola Kande.
We should not pretend. When there is a problem, we know there is a problem. There is a situation and you should find a way. Above all we need is to have close relationship with God. Trust in God. Don't release all your God. Aye buru. Aye le. Aye do kun e niyan losa. You need to be careful. We need love. In the absence of anything, we definitely need love. We definitely need love. I'm on a live chat now. Are you willing to discuss your matter on the live chat? Okay. Cut off then. Cut off. But I check your inbox. I inboxed you already. Okay. Call me after chat. Um, I will flash you. Okay. So we need to we need to have close relationship with God. You see, with God, nothing is is impossible. But when we lack it, believe me or not, we we, we can get ourselves what. God. He must not be found wanting in our life, in anything we do. When we lack that position, we lack everything. We build hatred unnecessarily. We hate people that we're supposed to love. We need love. And we need, above all, we need God. We need God. Have close relationship with God. Test it. You will know. You need God. Don't let anyone deceive you. When you play with God, your mind is at peace, at rest. If you don't eat, nobody knows. Because you have close relationship with somebody who is feeding you. And is feeding you. You don't have to you don't have to be pastor so prophets or prophetess before you have close con call or relationship with God. There are ten gifts in the Bible. Every one of us has at least one of it. All we need to do is to develop it, that gift. Bring it in a positive way. Develop it. Among which we have teaching. The power of dream. The power of singing, the power of preaching, the power of interpretation, you know, the power of speaking in tongues. There are so many of them there. We need to develop. So we need love. We must not get drunk to forget love of Christ. Don't get drunk with love of the planet and forget Christ. That can take you far. And if you are a Muslim, what is bad in you? Going to mosque. And if you can't go to mosque, you do your five times a day. In your corner room of your office, in the toilet. What is in your heart is what is important. Then you can have love. When you have love, you are gifted. Trust me. You are highly gifted. But if you lack it, you lack everything. You lack everything if you lack love. Because once you lack love, everybody becomes your enemy. Everybody, everyone becomes your enemy. Everyone becomes somebody who's talking about you. Everyone starts jealous, and you start jealous people. You start looking at their legs, their head, their mouth, their behavior. You start creating hatred because there's no love. Because that element, that ingredient is missing. 
It is well with all of us. Let's love each other. Siblings, try to find a way to do up to make amendments. Where there is trouble, it has God to get to intervene so that there can be stability in that situation. So you definitely need God. In any ramification, you need God. Don't let anyone deceive you that you don't need God. You need God. He is the Alpha and the Omega in our journey, in our homes. But above all, parents, try to show love to your children equally. Apart from the last bond that we always tamed like a toy, we treat like toys. We all know that. We treat our last one like toy. It's common because we don't have young, young child to play with anymore. My 16-year-old who's going to be 17, I still treat him like a toy. He take it sometimes on the cheek and laugh. Sometimes he get angry. Tell me that, ah, mom, I'm not a baby. I said, you, you are a baby. When you want to get something from me, you behave like a baby. So you are a baby. You are my baby. And if you want to test them, you tell them that you are bringing somebody into the family, like, a, like another small child to adopt. Then you start creating an enemy for yourself from, your, from that last born person in the house. That is the juicy part of it. But the other ones understand that because it's younger. That's why you are taking that make. So they don't take, they don't fancy, they don't get, they don't get worried about that side. But when you start loving and start giving preferential treatment, that's what the English people call it. Preferential treatment. Treating one better than the other. Two of them come from school, you cuddle one, you don't cuddle the other. One, two of them need money, you give one, you don't give the other. You are the one create. you are the genesis of your problem. So you cannot afford to continue to do that. It's not right. It's really not right to love one than the other. The treatment must be equal. If you can't do that, why are you fighting for equal pay hearts? Why are you crying, crying on sex discrimination acts? Why are you crying on race discrimination acts? When at home you, have, you cannot do things properly and you are coming and fighting on legislation that the legislators have put out there. No. Charity begins at home. Take care of your home first. Treat family equal. Treat your siblings better. Love your siblings. Love your brothers, your sisters. Don't create hatred from nowhere. It's not worth it. Love your children equally, mothers. Fathers, don't complain above or one the other, or better than the other. Make your complaint known generally. I use plural in my house. We, you, all. I don't use single, singular. So they always say, ah, why are you saying it to everybody? It's only one person. I said, but you are all my children. So I, I put it out there to all of you. That is how it should be. That is how it should be. So I beg all of you that are listening to my voice, under my voice. I want to applaud you. I want to encourage you. Please, let's make amendments. Where there is problem, let's see that we can seek for peace, unity, love. Do your best and leave the rest. You can't satisfy everyone. It's not possible. It's acceptable. I understand. But try your best. In my capacity, I can only do what I can do as well. But I can't kill myself. So you try your best and leave the rest for others to do. I am Tokubo Olagbaye. My office is Brightway Immigration and Asylum Practitioners. I am a qualified solicitor in the United Kingdom. I specialize in immigration and nationality law. My office number is on 0208. 309-8808 0208-309-8808 I deal with law in any ramification I advise people advocates and if for, for all of you that are in Nigeria that want to contact my office in Nigeria the telephone number in my office in Nigeria is on uh, 0810 456 that's the telephone number for my office in Nigeria 08 let's put it out there here Telephone number for UK is 0208-309-8808 and Nigeria is 
please book appointments. Yeah. For consultation. Do not make application by yourself without taking advice. Thank you all. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. You are all fantastic. Thank you all. You are all fantastic. And I'll pin it up straight away. So that's the... The telephone number for UK is 0208-309-8808 and Nigerian is 0813456619. Book appointment for consultation. Do not make a uh, do not make appointment by yourself without taking advice. Do not make appointment by yourself without taking advice from me. So that's it. I love you all. Please listen to music before I go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, my sister. God bless you. Thank 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 you so much. Thank you for contribution. You are all excellent. Thank you so much. I just want to give the music to run a bit. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Thank you so much. God bless you. I, I'm humble. I remain humble. Thank you so much. With great humility, I appreciate you all. I want to say thank you for coming on my forum. Thank you for your support all the time. And I'll continue to remain humble. Thank you. My stature is deceiving people about my humility. A lot of people think that I'm arrogant with my stature, but no, it's not. I am not the type at all. I am not arrogant. I am not... Uh, I just look down on people and I will never look down on anybody. I'm, I am a human rights lawyer, you should accept that. So I cannot have room to look down on people. My job and my stance is to raise people up, is to impact their lives. So I can never be arrogant to any of you, never. Never. With great humility, I, am, I, am, I, I really appreciate you all. That's just the English. I can never be arrogant to you. Never. Without you, what would I use the forum for? Would I be talking to myself? 
can't talk to myself. I have practiced that in my life career as a lawyer, just to build the confidence. And that was over 20 years back. So there is no way I can do this without you guys out there. Again, I let you know that you are important to me in my life, in my journey, in my destiny. You are a destiny helper. And I appreciate you all. I'll be talking in a church on the 26th of August. I'll be giving speech in a church, one of the redeemed church, 26th of August. I'll be giving speech in a church, one of the redeemed church, on the 26th of August. I think the pastor and the pastor missus must have gone to Nigeria on an holiday at the moment. But the flyers have been flying around. You know, the flyers have been flying around. You can find my name there. My name is on the flyer. But my picture wasn't there because I was in Nigeria when it was printed. They couldn't locate me. And they were much so much in a hurry. So they have to go ahead with my name alone. But my name is on that flyer. It's flying around. It's one of the redeemed church I'll be speaking. You know, imparting women's and people's life on the day. I think it's on the 26th of August. You know. I think so. It will be, I think it's on the 26th of August. You know. So I'll be imparting life on that day. If that one is going to allow the day, it's in London. 26th of August. Even if I'm traveling, I have to be back into uh, to British soil, into London by then. Because I'm, I'm more likely to go out for holiday, short break in the year, you know. But if I travel on holiday, I'll be back for that program before then. You know, I am more likely to, to be on holiday, but I'll be back for that program on the 26th of August. I want to appreciate you all. I want to go now. Thank you so much for your wonderful support. Thank you with great humility and remain humble. I love you all and you will never lag. Your, your support is quite important to me. From time to time when I see you, I applaud you, I embrace you. More grace, my brother. More grace, strength and revelation, madam. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Just continue to put me in your prayers. Continue to put, put me in your prayers. That's all I need from you. It, everything is not about money. It's about strength and ability and the gift to be able to excel and use it wisely. Continue to put me in your prayers. I will not leave the path that God has chosen for me. But put me in your prayers. I want that. I won't stop loving you either. Thank you. <laughs> I won't stop loving you either. Thank you so much. I, 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 I'm so humble. Thank you. Um, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And take care for now. Thank you, everyone. I have to go now. Bye. <laughs>